You know this battle royale was bound to happen. Two of the best foldable phones of 2023 thus far are in my hand. First, the Samsung Galaxy Fold 5. Reviewed this a few weeks back. One of the better foldable phones on the market to date. However, recently we got in our hands the all new Xiaomi Mix Fold 3. Like a camera setup. Also Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Four cameras on the back. We're gonna take these through their paces. Let's see who is gonna be the foldable champion of 2023. Here at Geek Culture, we've tested plenty of chairs, but Secret Lab gaming chairs remain one of our favorites. Whether it's for work or play, they feel great to lean back against, with their ergonomic features offering support for the whole body, from the head and back to the arms and even something for your butt. This mix of form and function helps the Titan EVO 2022 deliver the best seating experience like no other. For more information, check out secretlab.co. Talking about the Fold 5 here, as we mentioned earlier, it's got a very narrow sort of oblong shape to it. Much better built than the previous Fold phones, which were already very good in terms of the design and build quality. This has the zero gap hinge on it now, so there is no sort of gap between the displays, which is nice. All the other foldable phones on the market pretty much have that covered. Samsung's a little bit late to the party, as I mentioned in the previous video, but they're finally here. Um, outside of that though, it is a quite of a slippery phone and there's no case that comes inside the box. So um, I would definitely recommend getting some sort of silicone or some sort of cover for it because if your hands are, you know, get sweaty or you're in a hotter climate like we're here in Singapore, this can be very slippery to the touch. Zach, you don't hit that car behind you. This guy wants to leave here very soon. I'm looking out for Zach as he's walking and talking because Zachy is the machine with one arm doing the gimbal thing. As a matter of fact, Zachy, we've got to do the shot so people believe me when I talk to you about this. This is with the Fold 5, those bright, vibrant Samsung colors coming into action. Look at that. That's the shot right there. That's going to get you so many swipes. Oh, man, that's on point. Here is the Mix Fold 3 photo mode. Look at those Leica colors popping into play there. Oh, Zachy, looking good, baby, looking good. A little bit bright, a little bit overexposed, but that's what happens with these camera phones most of the times or not. All right, so continuing with the uh, Fold 5 here for a second here, as I mentioned, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor in this flagship specs. The cameras are not necessarily flagship, and neither are the Mix Fold 3, but they're pretty much part and parcel. That's what makes this a very good uh, system to compare it with. Now, in terms of the, the UI and the ecosystem, I mean, Xiaomi's got a very vast ecosystem, but of course the Mix Fold 3, not available outside of China. You know, it's not designed to be available outside of China. So there probably will be some limitations, whereas the Fold 5 is. So that ecosystem, I definitely would say, would give it to Samsung versus the Xiaomi in terms of that. But in overall design, I'm not in love with this phone because it's a little bit too narrow for me and it's a little bit too slippery. Very well built, but I'd like to have some sort of matte texture around the bezels. It just makes it a lot easier instead of this slippery sort of, uh, stainless steel or aluminum or whatever it is. But now let's talk about the Mix Fold 3 and the design on it, which I personally prefer. Now we're gonna talk about the Mix Fold 3 next to my uh, my associate here in the Kampong. You know, you know, frying up some nice uh, saute there. Very, very good, as we call like to say, sedap. Anyway, let's talk about the Mix Fold 3. This has a much more traditional phone design in terms of its uh, the width and the height of it. So the only real difference you're gonna notice, of course, is that it's a foldable design, but it is zero gap as well. There is no gap between the displays, which is a welcome addition. However, you might notice, some, notice something on this phone that's different from the Fold 5. I have a case, actually covers, and they come inside the box. How about that? You buy a foldable phone, and actually, they put covers inside the box? <gasps> the blasphemy of this company. Look at these, they come inside the box. How dare they you even put a charger in a cable? 1800 US dollars for this. And I only get a cable. Xiaomi says I get a nice textured cover for the front and back to protect my worthy investment. Outside of that though, this is a very well-built phone. Feels fa fantastic on it. And there are a couple different options with the Mix Full 3. You can get the Air Med uh, fiber back on it, which is not this. Feels more of a sort of like faux leather back. But again, this is a Leica collaboration. So you have to have a little bit of luxury inside this. I prefer this. It feels very, very good in the hands. And the metal around this is also more of a matte finish as well. So it's much easier to grip. The Mix Full 3 is slightly narrower than the Fold 5. And it feels that way in the hands too. And also what I like about this as well, it's the small things that matter, is that it's not flat on the edges, so it's much easier for your fingers to actually grab the displays and open it up versus the Fold 5 where it's flat. 
there is no sort of groove at all. So you really have to sort of get your fingers inside there and it can be very slippery and it can be very uh, costly if you slip and drop it. Whereas this is a much more tactile experience and it makes it work great. And by the way, the display, you can position it however you want and you're good to go. Same like the Fold 5. So in terms of design, I'm gonna give the award to the Mix Fold 3. Exactly, come close a little bit. I wanna show you the best part of this case here. Look at this. Stand. The stand is built in the case. This is metal, by the way. Inside, no extra charge. Xiaomi, thank you. I'm standing with pride now. I've got a case that stands. And it's free. Not really gonna pay for the phone, but still, it's inside the box. Anyway, that's it for the design. Let's talk about the cameras next. All right, first we're gonna be testing the front-facing camera in terms of video. Now, unfortunately, like all Xiaomi phones, there's no 4K. The max is 1080. So I'm gonna do 1080, 60 here, and we're gonna see how this looks, how the audio is in terms of the recording. So I'm recording with the front-facing camera now. At 1080, 60, it's a very smooth image, of course, and I, allow, I record this at 60, so Zachy can play around with the frame rates a little bit more in case he wants to match everything. But this is a really nice image. Uh, the sky's blown out behind me. You see no sort of uh, blue at all. It's completely white. I'm exposed, but the sky is not, so hmm, not too sure about that. Anyway, we're gonna try it now with the Fold 5. So because the Samsung can actually be recorded in 4K 60, I'm gonna be doing that right now. And as we see, we see a little bit more of the blue sky behind me, a little bit more better dynamic range versus the Xiaomi, but that's always been Xiaomi's, Xiaomi's Achilles heel is the front facing camera in terms of video. This is really good. Samsung does a great job with video. So I expect nothing less from Samsung. The winner in this test clearly goes to Samsung. And I gotta tell you, but one thing about this, I will tell you, at 4K 60 or even 4K 30, it's kind of contrasting. It's very, very sharp. So you see all the imperfections on my face. Um, and so I might need to get a sort of a diffuser, cover that up, soften my look a little bit. I can put some beauty mode on this, but I'm keeping it natural so you guys get to see what it's like out of camera. But nonetheless, the winner is Samsung by 10 fold. So now we're recording with the rear camera's 8K 30 out of the full five. This gives you an idea of how it performs, and I'm, I'm guessing the autofocusing is gonna be equally as good as it was with the front facing. Samsung's never had an issue in that regard, but we're getting 8K 30 now. Not every phone does 8K, but Samsung is delivering it with the Fold 5, and this is what we have in terms of the image quality. Also, you're gonna hear in terms of the audio quality as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Now let's go to the Mix Fold 3. We're testing 8K 24P out of the Xiaomi Mix Fold 3. It does not do 8K 30, so there will be a little bit of a frame rate difference on that. Crying baby, we did not pay for that baby to be in the shot. It just happens we're shooting on the streets of Singapore and anything can happen at any point in time. You're getting a sense of what the stabilization is like, what the colors are like, what the exposure's like, and also what the audio is like. What do you guys think? Which one is the better system for 8K? Let me know in the comment section below. The baby has an opinion, but we're not gonna ask the baby right now because he or she's undecided. So let's talk about the cameras on these phones. Now, as we talked about with the Fold 5, these are not flagship camera specs that are inside this device. It's not like the S23 Ultra. And likewise with the Mix Fold 3, these are not the flagship cameras that we're seeing out of the 13 Ultra, the 13 Pro for that matter. But what you are getting out of the Xiaomi is that collaboration with Leica still. So you're getting that like authentic, like a vibrant color schemes. You also can change the colors through monochrome and various different uh, simulations inside the camera. Plus you get that beautiful bokeh that gives you a much more of a photographers look to your images versus the Samsung, which just looks perfect in every way. And the customization in the Mix Fold 3 in terms of photography does make it a much more enjoyable to, tool to use versus the Fold 5. Not to say that this uh, device doesn't take good photos, it does, but the photos just look vanilla. Whereas with the Mix Fold 3, with the Leica collaboration, they have a bit more character. Now, these are my own personal opinions. You may differ from me, but this is what I'm seeing out of the camera systems. In terms of video, I'll give the edge to the Fold 5, but in terms of photography, I really like the colors out of this. I like the usability and I like the functionality. Now, like most smartphones out there, and I've seen some of your comments, you probably, you've asked me in the past, why are my phones so overexposed? This seems to be a, a trait of a lot of smartphones nowadays to sort of get everything exposed correctly. What I tend to do is I manually drop the exposure down to make those colors a little bit more rich, a little bit more contrast, bring down the shadows a little bit more to make it more look organic, like a real photograph out of, out of a mirrorless camera system or a DSLR, for example, versus a smartphone camera where everything is exposed bright 
and shiny and just perfect. I like a little bit of imperfection in my camera systems and the Xiaomi gives me that look, but at the same time delivering fantastic image quality. So let's talk about battery life on these two phones. Now, battery life is decent, I will tell you that. I have had no issues in terms of using these all day. And because the brightness is not so severe on the Mix Full 3, I mean, you're not pushing these phones to max brightness anyway, unless you're gonna be outdoors like we're at right now. We're in the shade because it's actually quite hot here in Singapore. But I find the battery life definitely more than a day for most people out there. Now, I'm a power user, so that depends on my usage. If I'm gonna be shooting more video, maybe not so much, but no complaints on that. In terms of the UI, obviously this is running the Mi UI on this as versus this is the uh, you know Samsung's own UI. And these are gonna be a personal preference. Now, Xiaomi's own UI does work relatively well. It's built into their ecosystem. It's very iPhone-esque in a lot of ways, which if you're coming from an iPhone or have an iPhone, and this is gonna be your secondary device, you're going to appreciate the similarities, where Samsung's is a little bit different. But I would give the edge to Samsung in terms of the versatility using the S Pen, being able to do multitasking in many different ways. The Mix Full 3, you can do some of that, but not to the extent of the Samsung. This is where Samsung has really sort of pioneered the full market and the larger phone display market because of the ecosystem and the flexibility that you can do with these devices. But I would say that this is not so bad, but I would say this is more of a phone slash larger tablet, but still basic phone fun feature, uh, functionality versus the Fold 5, which is sort of a tablet that you can fold up to be a phone. Well, my final thoughts on these two phones are this. The Mix Fold 3 is a fantastic device, but as I mentioned earlier in this video, it is a China-made device only. You can buy it, of course, you can import it into your respective country, but you are going to be limited on warranty and also support versus the Samsung Fold 5, which is available worldwide and has a lot of great support from Samsung in terms of warranty on the inside display, which, you know, buying an expensive phone like this, there's some merit to that and something that I would say heavily consider, especially if you're gonna be investing this kind of money into a device. Not to say I don't think you should buy this, but buy it at your own risk. But if uh, history has proven us uh, something that with the 12S Ultra that was made for China only back in the day, then the 13 Ultra was made worldwide, we may see that happen again with the Mix Fold 4, for example, if that comes to market in next year. Maybe they'll release maybe they'll release this worldwide, and hopefully they do because this is a very, very good device. Paired with Xiaomi's ecosystem, if it didn't have the Chinese ROM on it to it, we'd have more accessibility to it, and it would really give the Fold 5 a run for its money. As it stands right now, as a content creator's tool, if I'm looking for photography only, Mix Fold 3. If I'm looking for video, Fold 5. In terms of ergonomics, Mix Full 3 in terms of support, Full 5. And those are my thoughts on these two phones. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, also check out more of our phone comparisons right here.